So now let's see how we can work around with resizing of a shape inside of Tinkercad. And in order to resize a shape, first of all, let me bring in a shape. And in my case, I'm just going to bring in this box right here. So once you bring in this box, you can resize it by pulling these areas right here. So if I were to pull this handle right here, you can see that I have this. So I can go around and enter the value I want. Let's say, for example, if I want length to be 50 right here, and then I want length to be 50, I can just type it in and that is how it works. You can go around over here and pull it from this side. So pull this one out right here and I can increase and decrease the height as well and also enter the value in the box that appears. If I were to click over here and click over here, then I can simply go around and type in the value I want and that is how it gets resized. Let me just delete this and if I were to bring in something like a spear, the same thing happens. You can click over here onto the S and here, let's say for example, if you had to type in 40 and if I were to type in 40 right here, this is what happens. I can click onto the top and type in 40 right here and now all of them has been increased by 40 millimeters and the value is exact as you can see right here. Or you can eyeball it and resize it out just like this as well. You can also use steps right here. So I'm going to turn on, let's say for example, a uh, five millimeter grid, click and drag this. Now it only resizes in the span of five millimeters. Uh, one thing that you got to be um, aware while you're resizing is, let's take the box for an example. In some of the objects, the uh, length with and height option is there in the properties panel as well. So if I were to go around and then increase this, the value over here does not increase. So let me just show you what I'm talking about again, bring in another box. So by default, if I were to click this, you can see the value is 20 millimeters each. So if I were to click here, it's 20 millimeters. If I were to increase the length right here and then click, let's say for example, it is 56.39. So I can go around over here and type in, let's say for example, 100. I can go around into width, increase the width, and let's say I'm going to keep the width around 10 right here and height, I'm going to make it 30. So as I change right here, if I were to go around and then click, let's say for example, click here, it's 10, 100 and 30. But if I were to change the value here onto 20, just like this, if I were to go around over here and type in 20 again, and if I were to type it again, so let's say for example, 20 again here, the value that you see in properties panel do not change. So this is what happens. So if you were to click this, this is the value. But if I were to change right here, you can see that now this value and this value does not match at all. So uh, if you want to change out the value, you might want to change the value here first. And if you now decide to change it from here, then what you see in properties panel is not related with what you see on the viewport. And another thing that you should be aware while resizing shapes is that Whenever you resize shapes, it's not happening in proportion. So if you were to hold shift on your keyboard, then it resizes from X, Y, and Z axis in proportion, as you can see. If I were to hold alt, however, then it uses the center point as a reference so that I can scale it out in the way I want. So that is how you can resize the shapes according to what you have. And if I were to press Ctrl Z, you can see that it goes back onto the B default state and then I can go over here and go on to the other state of the size as well. And that is how you can work around with resizing shapes inside of Tinkercad. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.